Pandora TV, where we highlight, enlighten, and change lives. That's right, guys. I'm your host, Candace of Sweet Kendra TV, and we've got an awesome Candace Society segment just for you. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Dream Ford. He's that crazy looking guy that's been in some of those Spoken Reason videos, or maybe you've heard of some of his books. I'm a dog because, wear yes on your chest, and those are just two to name a few. Um, or maybe you've even heard him do a little bit of motivational speaking. Well, guess what? We've got him right here in our studio today, and we're going to get up close and personal. Now, I know who you are. You're my boy. You know, we've been friends for some time now. But why don't you let the Sweet Kinder or Candace Society know exactly who J.R. Ford is? Well, I'm just a regular guy that likes to write books, pretty much. You know, I, I like to think of myself as a, a conscious individual and uh, one who really likes to use all the experiences of my life, whether good, bad, to try to inspire and teach other people. Uh, and I'll use any resource possible, whether that's books, motivational speaking, YouTube, uh, and that's, that's pretty much who I am. Now, I'm, if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to mm -hmm. where yes on your heart. Okay. What inspired you to write this book? Well. Twitter for me, I'm not very Twitter literate, even today. It doesn't matter how many thousands of followers I have, I'm not Twitter literate. But as I would just have thoughts uh, about my life and situations, I would tweet them out and I noticed that it, it, it inspired a lot of people or yes. helped and taught a lot of people. And so what I decided to do was take those just little sayings and tweets and put them into a book and expand on them and let them know where they came from and how they can apply these things to their lives and how it will benefit them. And you have such an abundance of knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I take it that you've been through a lot. You know, lot. you have an amazing story. You were adopted. Mm -hmm. You're a veteran. Right. A college graduate. Yes. And now an author. Yes. Can you just kind of, you know, go in a little detail about exactly some of the things that you've experienced and how it has made you as strong as you are today? Being adopted, or finding out that I was adopted, was an experience that turned my whole world upside down. It honestly made me feel as though I wasn't worth keeping. Wow. You know, as a child, I felt like that. So that's a, that's a serious feeling. Right. So my life became about proving to myself mm -hmm. and to the parents that gave me away that I was worth keeping. That was my reason for going to the military, you know, and uh, just to prove that I was worth something. And then the military, that wasn't good enough. So I got out and I went to college. And here's a person who failed the eighth and tenth grades, you know, okay, barely wait, got out of wait, high school. Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Barely wow, got out. Well, I just, I want to say that I commend you because right. it takes a lot. Because there are so many people out there that give up so easily. Right. That feel like they've lost control. Mm -hmm. And for you to turn all those negative situations in your life into a positive. Right. You know, so many people dream of being an author. Mm -hmm. They dream of so many things that you've done. Mm -hmm. And you're doing it. Yeah. So I just want to tell you on behalf of Sweet Kinder TV, that we respect you, we appreciate, appreciate you, and you have our support. All right. Um, you know, can you just give some of our viewers just some advice? You know, um, you know how to overcome a lot of the obstacles that they're right. dealing with. You know, the best advice I think that I can give right now is first to be your own best friend, and secondly to always, you know, put yourself in the proper position. So many people have issues in their life because they're out of position financially, spiritually, mentally, relationships, they're in the wrong place and they're attached, emotionally attached to the wrong things. So a part of self-love, a part of being your own friend is evaluating where you are in your life and really being honest with yourself about, am I in the proper position? Am I a girlfriend playing wife? You what? Know? So oh, before we close out, uh, you know, can you just kind of let us know where you're trying to go and you know, what your, okay. your goal is? You know, my goal is honestly to inspire and help as many people as possible. Um, I think the recent book that I put out, The One, I think that's going to be the book that really helps people, you know, if they take those things to heart and act, I, I think that's really going to get people to the place that they deserve to be. Now, we thank you so much for coming, but we want to make sure that people can follow you, they can tweet you, they can Facebook you, you know, you know make sure you give me a shout uh, out. Okay, so on Twitter, you can find me at, at author JL Ford. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, that's I am JL Ford. And on YouTube, it's also I am JL Ford. Got a lot of stuff coming, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Follow me, maybe I'll follow you back. <laughs>
me. <laughs> if they shout me out, I'll follow them back. All right, guys. So listen, you heard it right here on Sweet Candora TV. Now listen, we got some amazing videos lined up just for you. Make sure you're on the lookout. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and most importantly, SweetKendoraTV.com, where we highlight, enlighten, and change lives. But at the same time, as you can see, we make it look real good.